Well, ladies and viewers, I found another fortress, and I figured now would be a good time to start. I found a couple of cool things in the nether fortress. Also, went quartz mining with this pimp and pick. Pimp and pick. And the place we close down there. Um, probably some stuff I could clear out of my inventory, but anyway, just, uh, shield with the blaze, man. Rods. So anyway, I just wanted to give you the update that we are in the nether with our chain armor. Probably the next thing we're going to enchant is a sword. Might as well combine these two stone swords that we drop with your skull. Anyway, I'll be uh, right back after we get back after we get back home. All right, minions and viewers, I am ready to go on into our more Thomacraft Thomacraft stuff. So we have a uh, diamond sword, and we're gonna see if we can get a good enchantment on this bad boy too. That is complete crap. That made the sword even worse than it was when I had first made it. If there was such a way as unenchanting, I would do it. Who knows? Maybe Thomas will take it. So let's go ahead and uh show you the research that we've done. I went ahead and bought the order upgrade for golems and then I got research got a couple researches ready. Oh I didn't do the mirror magic one. Well let's you know what let's go ahead and do this one real quick. So tenebrae and uh, vacuous. We have a lot of tenebrae, let's use you. Then we'll use Lux. Stupid Lux. Can we move stuff around? No, it'll just give it. Okay, well, well then we'll use Lux, and then we'll go ahead and put an Ignis in the middle, and we'll connect everything to Ignis. Actually, we'll connect this one to that Lux. And then the... Hmm. We'll go ahead and use a Potentia here. And an Ordo here. And there's a Tenebrae right there, which we just connected to, so, um... We'll just use um, a Lux, an Ignis, and another Lux. Woo! Mirror magic! Now, I researched this. This is a lot of really funny researches, I guess. I just want to kind of read some more to you, you need some viewers. This one's fishing. <laughs> sea shanties sold separately. Go and read our harvest core. Golem was fit as with this core need not be attached to an inventory. They seek out fully grown crops, reeds, and utterly and other commonly farmed plants within a small radius and harvests them. The harvested material simply drops to the ground and must be gathered by some other means. Unfortunately, there are they are not smart enough to replant the crops they have harvested. But you are sure you can with a bit of work, you might be able to eventually fix that bug. If you use the order upgrade, they fit it with it, will... Oh, they will attempt to replant the crop. Okay. That's cool. Cool. Let's go into Artifice. I, I bought the, um, that one. The, uh, the upgrade or whatever it was. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and see... Read Brain in a Jar. Why not? This episode, if we can, we might want to make that, um, infusion altar. Brain in a jar. Throw one rotten zombie brain into a jar. Add some spider eyes and water. Stir gently with your wand while thinning, while thinking dark, thinking dark thoughts. <laughs> if you follow the recipe exactly, n n ha you should have a partially animated and fully malicious zombie brain. It retains some of the hunger it possessed as a zombie while it cannot consume brains. It still enjoys eating, and while it cannot consume brains, it still enjoys eating the thoughts and experiences of those slain nearby. Giving its jar a good shake will make it surrender some of its ill-gotten gains for your own use. <laughs> I, I don't get this. I think that's just trolling. Mirror magic. You are now able to enchant a pair of magical mirrors to act as doorways to the void between worlds. Anything shoved through the through the one mirror will pass through this realm and exit through the other mirror, even across dimensional boundaries. Unfortunately, this realm is extremely hostile to mortal creatures like yourself, so using these mirrors to transport living creatures is not yet possible. To link a pair of these magical mirrors, you simply need to place one of them in a desired location. You can then right-click with a second mirror on the one you placed, and the pair will become linked. 
You may then place a second wherever you wish, and items thrown into one will be ejected out the other. Mirrors can only be linked in pairs, so while both are placed in the world and able to transmit items, you cannot link them to another mirror. When you pick up a mirror, it will remember the last part Nero was linked with, allowing you to easily move it without having to relink it. However, while one of the paired mirrors is picked up, you may easily relink either of them. Transporting items is not free. You require a source of iter nearby, and each full stack of items will drain one ascension. Ah, alright. Not, not too bad, not too bad. What's this? Oh, a hand mirror. Okay, so now let's go into alchemy. We got that ethereal flower there. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Shimmerleaf is often overshadowed by its mad mystical neighbor and the, the silverwood tree, but has magical properties of its own. Like the silverwood, Shimmerleaf flowers have purifying properties that lie dormant, which is misspelled. This dormant is spelled with an A, but what can I say because I've been mispronouncing words, or I think that's how you say it. Yeah, I haven't, I've been, my reading hasn't been the best either. You have found a way to awaken these properties and turn it into an ethereal bloom. Ethereal blooms slowly but surely restore the land corrupted by mystical means to its former glory. This includes the blight known as taint. While it cannot combat taint directly, few tainted growths can survive outside their native environment for long and tend to die back. The flower only purifies the land bathed in its light out to a range of about eight blocks. Well, that'd be good. I, we might consider making one of those. So it's made with... Eh, yeah, that wouldn't be that hard to make, actually. The only thing that would be hard to get is grab some, grabbing some taint essentia, because bringing it back, it would just melt in my um, inventory and then inflict me with the taint disease or flux taint or whatever it is. Um, why you glow? Why you glow? I, did, I, did I research something over here? I don't think I did. We need to go ahead and get you, though, the Silverwood Staff Core. Let's go. Oh, that's what I did. The Wand Recharging Pedestal. Compound Recharge Focus and Node Stabilizer. Node Therapy. Huh. Traveling around the countryside is t to recharge your wand is all good and well, but it's an, an automatic way of doing it would be much better. This specifically crafted pedestal does just that. Just any wand placed in it will automatically draw V from nearby nodes. Nodes will not be fully drained unless it is a poor quality wand crafted from iron or sticks. So it, there has to be... I imagine the nodes have to be really close, though. And we need to make a primal charm sooner or later. Along with maybe some salismundus. Mmm. So, well, anyway, let's let's just see. We might want to go ahead and um, do a little bit of some work with that infusion stuff. Go into alchemy. I'm pretty sure infusion is... Never mind artifice. Infusion. We need to make this bad boy. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves that ender pearl. I'm going to replace those with nether brick stairs. That's why I had a stack of it. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves um, that ender pearl. Four shards. We'll, we'll make them. We don't want order shards. I think those are good shards. We'll take some air. And um, we'll grab our infused stone. We might also need... And also we're going to need liquid essentia too. So we're going to need to do that one thing we were doing a couple episodes ago. Then we'll do make those. And then we need... Arcane stone bricks is just for, just for, yeah. Not too bad. All right, so. Now we also need to head up to the other side in uh, alchemy. And we need to make, um, we need to make this bad boy. So let's go ahead and get all the stuff that we need to make that. And we're also going to need to uh, make some of those. Yep, yep. Um, it's in uh, underground goodies. We need to smelt some of you gold ores. And Thomas, I, I, we were supposed to have um, a half stack of silver wood left, but I don't know what happened there. But Thomas is gonna have to find some more silver wood if he wants his restaurant to be made out of it. Also, I feel that I think I think I'm just a big jerk too. Shh. All right, let's head back down to the basement. Get 
get that smelting. And then let's get to work. Put our wand up there. If I'm not mistaken, this is how we'll make our runic matrix. It just takes a lot of ordo. Thankfully, wait, oh, we're wearing the goggles revealing. Yeah, we are, okay. We get a good discount there. Then let's make some stone bricks. Then we'll also make this bad boy. A chemical furnace. See if any gold smelted yet. We're gonna need just one more. And actually we should head back up and get some stuff. Mobs, please no follow. Mobs, you stay down. Also going to need a lot of iron, so let's go ahead and grab a stack of that, just in case, and might as well grab the buckets too, because I'm pretty sure we need those in addition to make those arcane olympics. Want a piece of this? If I had my smite sword, I'd fight you. Actually, you know, you're just going to bust down my door anyway, so... Oh, crap, I'm not one of those flame bow skeletons. Alright, there we go. That's what you get, zombie. That's what you get. And now we'll go back here. We don't have enough ordo, but we'll make one. So now I believe we make the Arcane Olympics like so, but... Okay, we need to check some stuff. Okay, um, there must be something wrong. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. There we go. Alright, we can make two, no problem. And, um... Yeah, two, two will be good for now. Take our iron back. Uh, we're gonna need to make some warded jars, but we've got a lot of glass, glass so we'll be fine with that. We, uh, I think we have, like, a couple slime balls, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll be fine making some warded jars. Go ahead and grab our gold. Huh. Um, do we have... We don't... Wait a second. We're gonna need those, uh, pedestals, won't we? We'll, we'll make, uh... Eight total pedestals. It's, well, I would not. I would be surprised if anything took more than eight. And uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and just move that arcane workbench. Hungry chest, give it, give it up. No hungry chest. No, we don't do that. I'm gonna move the research table up sooner or later too, but we'll we'll take some time to do that. Experience orbs. Hey, Steven, how's it going? Head on back up, Steven. Aw, oh, come on, Steven. I don't want to knock you down. Got to knock you down a peg, Steven. By the way, Creeper, if you even think about coming up here, bad things are going to happen. That, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything else, but bad things will happen, Creeper. So just don't think about it, and you'll be fine. There we go. Go ahead and put you there. One, two, there we go. And there. And we're going to make a few warded jars. <sighs> Sigh. God dang it, I forgot to do it on the arcane workbench. Okay. Arcane workbench. We'll put it, we'll put you over here. We'll go ahead and make our, um, Thomcraft stuff in the... We're going to make it in the middle of the house. Why not? Who cares if it's unstable, you know? Alright. We need, um... Oh, we need one pedestal right there. So we might want to make just a couple more pedestals. Empty space? <laughs> Pedestal. And then it takes a lot of energy from our wand in order to make it all happen. So... We'll make it in, um, 
Let's make it in this corner. Right. Here. 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 Okay, I think I, I don't think I'm doing that right. Okay, let's go ahead and all right. Let's check it one more time, just for good measure. That looks pretty good. Now we're gonna have to find some energy for our wand. Looks like it'll turn out pretty well once we get it all working. Let's go ahead and make our our jars. And one more. Of course, this is this is not a really good lab for Thomcraft in a in my opinion, but we're gonna go ahead and place our pedestals in a symmetrical fashion. And then we're gonna need just a couple more, so let's just not dilly dally and make those real quick. Thank you. And then we'll take a we'll take our alchemical furnace and arcane olympics over over here, I guess. Now nah, we'll put them right um, here. Why not? No, nah, I'm indecisive. We'll push Yolo. Put you guys right on top. There we go. The Olympic is empty. Empty. And now we're gonna need some like pipes that lead into it. But um, we'll just line up our six warded jars right here. And then our, our, we'll get our wand back out from here. Put you back up in here. And then we'll sort our stuff back out into its uh, former chests. One more set of stuff. And there we go. By the way, there are currently fire trucks, or police, I don't know, there's, there's police alarms going around, around, around this neighborhood, so hopefully you won't be able to hear that. Anyway, let's go ahead and, um, I'll go off camera and I'll fill up this, this bad boy right here, and then when we get back, I should be making that altar, and we'll see if we can infuse something this episode. How, how about we infuse, um, that... Uh, a wand focus. You know what? Why don't we just make that right now? Why not? Excavation, you say? Nether quartz and some of those crystals. We have just enough. We have a lot more than enough nether quartz. Let's put you right there right there I done messed up the crafting and let's take this we're also gonna need that focus bag if we can uh we're gonna have to go back into the uh over here oh no witch there's a creeper in front of my door all right okay right now there's fire alarms going off and my dog is howling even worse go away oh crap Oh, this is no, no is bueno, no is bueno. There's a sheep where my horse is supposed to be. Oh, I just gotta run. Well, you better run! Okay, if I run into a mob, I'm dead. Two, one. All right. Now we just gotta regenerate. How about 
I'll, I'll research the, the carry bag and all that stuff off camera, and then I'll be back. See you then. Well, minions and viewers, we're here for the last portion of the episode. Um, let's go ahead, and I, I went ahead and researched infusion enchantment. So let's go ahead and read that just real fast. For ages now, wizards and thaumaturds have been <laughs> thaumaturds have been enchanting weapons, tools, and armor by imbuing objects with their own life energy. That's us. While effective, the process is tedious and the results are completely unpredictable. Your discovery of infusion crafting might have uncovered a solution to both of those problems. Just like the golem, the golem introduction. The introduction. You have discovered a way to enchant objects with an infusion altar. Simply place the item you wish to enchant on the central pedestal and supply the proper ingredients and ascension. It also requires some life essence in the form of experience, but much less than would normally be required by enchant to enchant something. This experience is drawn from anyone near the infusion altar, so care should be taken. The essential and experience costs listed in following recipes are for the list first level of enchantment. To enchant the item to higher level, simply perform the infusion process again. It can be repeated until the inquire, required enchantment has reached its maximum possible level. Ascension and experience costs are multiplied by the level of enchantment you are performing, so level 2 enchant costs twice as much as level 1. Additionally, costs... Additional cost is might is might is also additional cost might also be required if the item already contains enchants other than the one you are currently performing. This cost is usually around ten percent per level of enchantment. So enchanting a sword with fire aspect two, which already contains smite three, will cost thirty percent more. Instability also increases the total number of enchantments on the object increases. Enchanting items with an infusion altar follows the normal rules for enchantment as it, it applies to what enchants can combine with the others. So, um, it costs, um, a more essentia and more experience, but the item will, will be, uh, okay. So repair one and repair two. Probably will want to just get something like... Ooh, haste is... I ooh, we have those. Hooray. So, haste and potency. I'm pretty sure these are, like, for, um, those, uh, focuses. And then we have protection. And then we have protection. Uh, yeah, we've got... This is kind of cool. I like this. I want to make a Salus Mundus next. So, let's go ahead and, um... I just want to see right here. Just, just a shard and two ethereal essences. Oh, well, we got a lot of vacuous essence, so let's just take two of those, and then we'll just use a shard. I want to make one Salus Mundus because I want to get one repair level on my pickaxe, just for, just for, um, just for free repair, right? <laughs> I love, I like the repair enchantment. Just, just like you know, just uh, it's just a good enchantment from what I can, from what I can recall. Also, I cut down another uh, silverwood tree. Let's see if this works. No, no, no. No. God dang it. <laughs> Alright, so... It looks like that. But... Okay, okay. Oh, okay, I think, I think, I, I think I got it. This should, do, this should fare a little better. No, no. <gasps> oh, that gave me a little bit of a jump, but it was kind of it was it was a good jump. I I got the uh, focus enchanted, so that way it can dig stuff, basically. So let's see what we can do. We if we make um if we make an anvil if we make an anvil and this and this Alice Mundus and we get some of these aspects all burned down. Oh, we need Ordo. There's like nothing that that has Ordo. Like, there's barely anything I know of that contains Ordo. Look. Wait for it. Here it is. Barely anything. Silverwood contains one. One. And, of course, obviously, the crystal shards and essence and all that stuff, but... Mm, that's gonna be difficult if I want to get a lot of Ordo. And then, so, like, right now, the, it'd be multiplied by 80%, so I'd need... 18 ordo to get repair one if I believe so I would need 18 ordo let's just see I'm just gonna I want to see I kind of want to see if, if it's possible to enchant by the end of the episode 
18 Ordo, Fabrico, and Freak. Those two shouldn't be that hard to get. Let's go ahead and, um... Isn't thought fair, not wood. Yep, we'll get a lot of... We can get some of the magic from that, too. Now, um... We need to make some of those, uh, Essentia tubes, do we not? Um... We need, yep, Essentia tubes. How do you make Essentia tubes? God dang it. Alright, here, oh, okay, okay. Let's go make, let's go research Essentia tubes. Why don't we? Essentia tubes. Advanced Essentia tubes. Okay, we'll centrifuge. We might want to research the advanced essential tubes if we have enough ordo. Now we don't have enough ordo back to do that. Let's just read these. You've discovered several ways to transport essentia, but none of them have proven useful for large-scale alchemical operations for now. Well, until now. You have unlocked the key to creating stable and relatively leak-free tubing. While mundane chemicals can be transported in glass, certain types of essentia either dissolves or simply passes right through it. By wrapping the glass in iron and treating it with quicksilver, you have managed to protect it from even the most volatile types of essentia. Gold fittings finish off the piping system and make it visually appealing. The tubes can be connected, is this an essential valve? Okay. To all manner of alchemical devices, the water jars and the limics are their primary targets. Essentia flows through the tubes whenever something is connected to them that can accept it, like warded jars. Uh, jars containing different kinds of essentia will only draw their kind of essentia toward them. Tubes, however, can only draw and transport one kind of essentia at a time. The highest drawing strength will take priority. Without the proper use of valves, it is quite easy for a network of tubes to get g gummed up. These, the use of valves is essential. When you see, oh, okay, so we gotta, like, when you see gases being vented from a tube, it means different kinds of suction are interfering with each other. This, the color gives the clue as to what types of suction. What's this? Essentia resonator. Okay, there's just too much stuff. We're gonna have to do that next episode. The Essentia valve acts much like normal, ex much like a normal length of tubing, except it can be turned off by hand or a redstone signal. When this is done, the flow of Essentia through it will be cut off. The Essentia Resonator is handy for troubleshooting your tube network. You can use it on a tube or other Essentia using device to see what Essentia it currently contains and the suction it is applying. Tubes can be connected and disconnected from their neighbors by clicking on a section of tubing with a wand. The wand can also be used to click on the central section to rotate certain types of certain tubes like the valve. So what we're going to need to do, we just need a little bit, we just need a little bit more stuff if we're going to get this right. So next episode will be a uh, Good, good place to uh, do that. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and show off our. Look at this. It drains quite a bit of Terra. Hey, it's Nether Portal. Hey, <laughs> it drains. It'll drain Terra, but I, I think it's kind of cool. Just, it's just a simple focus, you know. But anyway, um, I think we're gonna have to call the episode there. Thanks for watching, viewers, and I'll see you next time.